Hey, <laughs> you wanna play Daylight? Then let us play. So, I was checking online to see if uh, I was the only one having lag problems, and apparently I'm not. Apparently there's some issues with the game. Even for people who have like, you know, even like super beefy computers, um, you know, like big time huge gaming rigs, even they're having some lag problems. Mine doesn't seem to be too bad at the moment, a little bit here and there, but we'll just have to muscle through it. Seems like it mainly comes when you like turn around and stuff. Let's read these. <clears throat> Difficult to make outside. Uh, large size high ceiling does not mean you can move things about. Create a satellite break room for smoking. We've caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously, and climbing over them to serve as a lookout. Be advised, this is not a gym. This is this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Freaking upper management want to ruin everything. What's, 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 uh, where's the fun if you can't smoke and break the rules, huh? Uh, last night at approximately 7 p.m. the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit, uh, in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that sec the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize, familiarize yourself with the power source location within the records room. Sets. Got it. Yes, like I said, I looked online, and uh, I guess, I guess, like I said, people with like even um, you know crazy machines are having. What? Oh my god. Um. Okay. Even people with like crazy souped up machines are having lag issues, so. It's not just me. Mrs. Daniels, or Miss Daniels, was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances, is it now? God. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, the thing is, with the lag, it, it seems like it's really bad like when you turn around and move, you know, like when you try to like do this, see? But if you're just kinda like going straight, it's, it's pretty much okay. Oh, Kipling, citizens, accused. Crime, 16 year old girl, I guess that's girl, allowed to live, admits guilt, condemned to hang, evil, Hospita, hospital opened to de deal with spread of disease. Alright, so this hospital is pretty freaky. You gotta see! What in the hell is that? Much pain and suffering. And from those who seek my solace. What ails you, Sarah? Perhaps truth, really pure, never simple. Right. Um, while on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty. <laughs> Notice patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. You know, when you do big 360 turnarounds, it seems like it gets screwed up. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He splat, spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seems high strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Hmm. Okay. 
So something, there's something about Patrice. Is she hot or what? I don't know. Boxes with ropes can be moved. What? Why? Why would we move this? Can we not? Uh, oh, I see. Okay, I got gotcha. you. This? There we go. Can we climb it? Oh yeah, with space. Okay. Is this that breaker switch? Oh, what the hell? Oh my. Oh shit. Some lag in this area. Get out of here. No, I didn't want to climb it. Shit. Yeah, this area's kind of laggy. Just get out of here. Get up there. Alright. Get out of this area, it's kind of laggy. Oh, okay. Is this... This looks like kind of like the area we were in, huh? Exactly like the one we're in. Yeah, that area was screwed up. There are lots of lag in this area. Just go through something like this. Yeah, we just went around in a circle, didn't we? Hang on, if we turn that power on, is there maybe a door we couldn't open before? Now we can. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, really? I walked around here for like, maybe 25 minutes. And I saw that earlier, but I thought, eh, I don't know. But I, uh, the, then the glow sticks started uh, sort of illuminate again. And... Okay, so off we go. All right, that was really interesting and annoying, <laughs> as a matter of fact. It's all good. We found it. So proceed in. Yeah, so certain areas, it seems like they aren't really that optimized, um, but, you know. I mean, otherwise it's fine. I mean, you know, if you can do this in a game, you're pretty much good. <laughs> Open this up. Okay. Oh, Dr. Watkins recommended removal of all possessions from patient's room as means of curing her fantasies. The patient became violent during extraction. She seemed particularly fixed, fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. Alright. Um. 
is a sigil. Were we supposed to come in here for something? I don't know. Wait, hang on. Oh my god. the hell. Read the note for safety. One out of six. And your blood is thicker than water. What is that? Remnants. Hmm. One out of six. Alright. That's not one, obviously. <laughs> we can't go even go back in there. Okay, so one out of six. Uh, I assume something happens when we collect all of those. That one area. See, it's fine now. That one area is kind of a bad one to be in. But, that's okay. So we're looking for one out of six. Well, we're looking for six. We have one out of six. So we need to find five more remnants. Fair enough. We can try to do that. Is there one in here? Perhaps? By any chance? Oh, uh, no. And we can't go through there, so I guess it's down here. I was also reading some people speculating that maybe the uh, lagging is uh, from... Uh, well, there's two. A uh, patient aged seven years has been experiencing a fear of monsters in her room at night. A night shift nurse Consoled the patient by reaffirming it was only her imagination, the patient subsequently began exhibiting uncontrollable violence toward herself and staff members. The patient's been restrained and transported to solitary confinement. So, so yeah, some people were speculating that maybe the, la the uh, micro stuttering was going on because of uh, uh, the fact that um, it uses Unreal 4, but um, it may not have been optimized correctly for Unreal 4. Unreal 4, and also because of um, the procedurally generated stuff. Because uh, it doesn't uh, something to do with the map loading. I don't know. I'm not an expert on it, so. I know you're there. What do? What's with those symbols flashing on the phone? That's fucking creepy. Stop it. I think we're supposed to use a flare on those uh, witches. Oh, what the hell? That's really not. That's. Don't do that. Don't do this to me. No. What are you doing? What is that? Oh my god. Get away. Back away. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. I'm really scared. I'm really scared right now. Get away. Okay. Those don't last long, do they? Fuck. You know what? Close this door. Close this door. It does kind of remind me of, uh, Amnesia, which is a game I refuse to play. <laughs> Not because I think it's bad or anything, but it's just it's just too scary. It's too scary for me. I'm a, I'm a wimp, you know. I just can't help it. Which is why it's probably fun to watch me play this because I'm kind of scared. Just need uh, four more remnants. Not sure what will happen. Oh, what is this? Is this one? It is. The stuffed bear, whom the patient refers to as her beloved, has been placed in quarantine. The doctor recommends incineration, as it has come in contact with the girl and might carry the disease. None of us have had, had the heart to burn the stuffed animal, though. I guess Miss Goodman isn't the only one in this place with a soft spot for such a poor, wretched little girl. So, it seems like maybe there's some, some kind of uh, outbreak, or... What the hell is that? 
maybe some kind of outbreak or something that led to this hospital being in the shape uh, that it's in. What's these pictures? What the hell? What? Um, with the <laughs> with the the ho some 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 sort of outbreak or sickness or famine or something that led to the the hospital being in the shape that it's. Jesus. Oh my god. Can I? No. What the fuck? What the fuck? Don't. Don't do it. Oh my god, no! It's daylight, too. Outside. Well, obviously. What's that? What is it? What? Don't do this to me! No! No! The sigil over here. Oh, need the key. Yeah, what's the freaking key, though? Is this open? Oh, found a flare. Oh, yay. That's good. So, that's just like the other deal. It's empty. So, that's just like the other sigil. We gotta find, uh, I guess, all the remnants, maybe, to open it? Or some such? Some such business? And, uh... Uh, okay, and uh, the the key last time was the bear, so I guess we got to find some other thing to open this one. Mm, which way are we not going? Came from there. We have been down here, yes. So through here we gotta go. Yeah. Or not. So, my understanding, hang on, before I read this, my understanding is that each time you enter a room, what's outside is completely changed and altered into something else. Uh, that's how I understand it, which means when we leave, what we find outside might be different, we'll see. Uh, patient suffers from hoarding problems, frequently holding items she can get her hands on. Patient has been observed clutching objects and mumbling to herself in nonsense phrases describing, described by the staff as the servant. Now, I've heard of people already finishing this game, too, so I guess it's not that long. Somebody said, like, two hours, which, if that's true, then that's... I don't know. Potentially get it finished quick. I want to start Child of Light. I did start it, and I did record something, but, um, it didn't turn out too well. <laughs> so, we'll have to do it again. I'll get that up soon. Oh, my... Don't do it. Oh my god, I thought that was somebody up there. Uh, yep. Five. Patient 27C suffers from an obsession with mazes. Uh, compulsive behavior has driven him to draw mazes all over his cell, having run out of space. Patient turned on himself, carving an elaborate maze into his own flesh, completely developing his chest, parts of his back, forearms, upper forearms, and upper thighs, and even parts of the buttocks and genitals. Oh my god. Patient restrained via straight jacket and placed in solitary confinement. This is fucking terri ter terrifying. I can't even speak. Mother's Bay? Mother's Day. With a D. As in, do you even hear, bro? No, open. Don't do it. Don't do it. So we need one more. One more remnant. And I don't remember enough about what I was out here to know if it's different or not. I think it is. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Where? Scared. I'm really scared. And like I said, it's freaking daylight outside. Oh yeah, I would have waited till tonight, but uh, I have somewhere to be. I know there's somebody here. That's bullshit, man. This is bull. This game is bullshit. 
<laughs> this is not nice. Stop whispering. Um, yes, I have somewhere to be later. And, uh, just wanted to play a little bit before. Or, I don't really have somewhere to be. I'm not, like, going anywhere, but, uh, I'm doing something with on tonight, and... So. Okay. I don't see any more. We need one more of these things. I've been down there, though. For that. Let me just end this, please. <sighs> oh! Nurse Foster has complained that orderly William Farish uh, disappears for hours at time during shifts, and when he finally shows up, his hands and the knees of his pants are as dirty as though he's been out digging in the dirt. When she asks him about it, he seems confused and asks where he can bathe. This is the fourth complaint in two weeks about Farish, and I thought the matter should be uh, escalated to you, Percy. Okay, where are we going? Don't turn off the lights. Are we going to this sigil? What the? What in the heck? What is this scissors? Oh dear. This is really mean. Now there was a door that had a uh, thing on it that we need to use these scissors on. I assume if we follow the uh, what I happened, you're there. if we follow what happened with the bear, then what? No, you fucker! I can't do it. I can't use my flares. Why? I couldn't use my flare for some reason. Can you not use your flares when you're... you're a freaking witch? Or when you've got the scissors in your hand or something? Oh my god. I know you're there. Oh wait. It's over here. Just do it. Go, 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 go! Oh my god. You don't do any glow sticks. Screw you. You can't use the uh, flare when you've got your. It's so nice to see Dr. Mercer, the maintenance staff has finished the modifications to your office that you asked for. Also, for your request, I've made to only let certain staff work on small parts of a larger project. Your new work desk should be fully functional now. Okay. Prisoner 85 has been under my direct observation for the past week. No change in temperament. He seems to have contracted some sort of virus causing fever and incoherent ranting. He is currently receiving treatment by the nurses. I bet he is. I'll reevaluate his condition after the study has been completed. Alrighty. So yeah, it seems like when you have uh, one of those keys in your hand, you can't use... Oh, look at all this. There's tons of lore here, I'm sure. Smallpox number... Smallpox numbers... Uh, Dr. Walter Mercer. 
denial, ferry boat disaster, cursed, um, mid island hospital forced to close. What is that? Unidentified bodies found in the woods outside Sheldon Hospital. Uh, anonymous call to Mid Island City Police prompts investigation into Sheldon Hospital. Victims found in Mid Island Woods identified. Received. Kind of looks like. Oh, we're just. Uh, smallpox, okay. Well, it looks like uh, it's saved. So I'm going to end it here. Next time we'll uh, continue further into this game that's really mean, and we'll see what else is uh, going to happen. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm told it's really super short, so this may be coming up on an end in a few parts. So that'll do it for this part of Let's Play Daylight. Until then, I've been FRG, this has been Daylight. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.